What's up guys, it's Akamander here. This episode of Marvel Contest of Champions is going to be on how to get 5 star shards, how to farm 5 star shards. Now, I don't know the amount yet, so I am going to be saying the amount on the title maybe, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, well, before that actually, make sure you're subscribed, please, make sure to check out the giveaway in the link in the description down below. The giveaway is basically, as soon as I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away 4 Pop Funko, so make sure to subscribe. And leave a like. I would really like. I would really like and appreciate if you guys were to subscribe and leave a like. So let's just get into it already. All right. So one of the first and easiest ways. The heck. Okay. Sorry. One of the first and easiest ways would have to be summoner advancement. Alliances usually. That's not working. Alliances usually qualify for. Um, summer advancement, and you usually get around 400, it really depends on your alliance. The lowest you'll get was 200, which is not really that bad, and honestly. Uh, so 400... Let me see something here. There's no item use. There, all, there is also a 5 day event, alliance quest completion. That just really de it depends on your alliance. If they're good enough to complete all of that and the kind of map that you're doing because I think it's different points for different maps let me check right here real quick um yeah it is it's different yeah so yeah yeah okay sorry about that and usually and hopefully sometimes they give you guys in daily calendars which they're already giving us 5,000 this month which is really amazing from Kabam I did not expect that whatsoever anytime soon also, there is Alliance Wars, which is an easy way. Not everybody's going to get there. It's going to take a while to get there, of course. But it's all good. Um, yeah, it's just all good. You'll end up getting there. Just keep uh, playing, keep trying. It's all good. I have to stop saying it's all good. Also, completing Act 4 gives you a total amount of 4,000. It gives you like 5,000, okay? Which is like half of... 5 star crystal which is not bad at all which is honestly really good okay now also there is act 5 chapter 1 and chapter 2 which give you a wall amount also and then there is also the event quests that are currently up right now every month you're gonna start getting 1000 you're gonna get 1000 5 star shards from heroic and you're gonna be getting 600 um, is it 600? So 1,500 5 star shards a month plus the 1,000 are already giving you so 2,500 5 star shards. Completing Labyrinth of Legends. No, no. Road to Labyrinth will give you 1k of 5 star shards. Completing Labyrinth of Legends will give you 20k. Right, then I click on that. 20k, not 100% though. Completing 100% will give you 45,000, which is a really large amount. Also, uh, depending on the rank rewards for arenas so right here you can land if you get uh, hood or any four star champion right here you get 300 five star shards and you get 200 right there and then also not for three star but for this one you could also get 200 400 and 800 if you get that four star champion which is not bad okay now let's go into the crystals so the i think final way should be final way is by awakening a um, a four star champion. That is one of the uh, common ways to uh, get some five star shards. Of course, I'm not gonna get a four star. Yeah, of course not. Um, but yeah, that is one of the most common ways to get five star shards is to awaken your four star champions. But that's only in crystals. That's not if you. Um, that's not if you. What is it called? Oh my gosh. That's not if you awaken them with like a gem or something. Also, once you max out your four star, your your four star champions, then they give you the max energy ability crystals. I don't remember exactly how much the amount. I don't know if it's 55 five star shards is it, or if it's 275. I doubt it. I think it's 55, which isn't bad either. And usually sometimes Kabam, for like the two year anniversary last year, I believe, they give you, or no, or three, I don't remember. They gave you like 2,500 free 5 star shards, so Kabam usually gives a uh, well amount of free 5 star shards, which is not bad at all. Also, there are...